Okay, I'm here with Ida Weno at the Green Note in Camden Town. Ida, welcome to Camden Town Radio. Thank you so much for having me here. And uh, and you, you got it almost right. It's Ida Venu. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know it's a bit hard with the <laughs> Danish weird last name, but yeah. <laughs> yes, okay, Venu. Yes, very good. Okay. Beautiful. Right. Very beautiful. <laughs> Great, well, nice to meet you, Ida, and thanks for coming on the show today. Thanks for having me. And we're at the Green Note now. And you'll be going on stage later on. You must be looking forward to it. I am very much. I love this venue. I've been here a couple of times. It's really nice to be back again. Yeah. Yes. And I believe you're from Denmark, is that right? That is very right. It's true, yeah. I live in Copenhagen. Yeah. Okay, the capital. The capital, yeah. <laughs> I was right about that. Not about the pronunciation, but to get the capital. Yes. Capital city. Right. Very right, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's great. And do you come over to the UK quite often? I do. Sometimes, like... Um, once a year ish, yeah, yes. around that, yeah, and then sometimes some small trips here for for shows and stuff. So, yeah, it's quite nice. Yes. Love it here. <laughs> a, a regular visitor. A regular vi- visitor, yeah. Thankful for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And would you describe yourself as a folk-based singer-songwriter? I would. Um, I always think it's a bit hard with with the word folk because people associate it sometimes with a different kind of music. But I think. It, um, the reason why I use it is because it's um, I've listened to a lot of you know Johnny Mitchell and Bob Dylan and all those and I like the tradition of those songs but we give it a bit of I think it has a bit of a Nordic thing to it as well so we sometimes call it like Nordic folk noir to kind of give it a another ring to it yes. <laughs> yeah well, well that brings us on actually you mentioned a couple of your influences there so mm-hmm. who would you say are your main influences with your music Oh, I do have a lot of influences. It's so hard to just pick out one, but I am definitely listening a lot to Joni Mitchell and yeah. um, Patti Smith is one of my big ones. Okay. Not that I think I necessarily sound like her, but she is just she's just such a but she's just such a person and such an amazing artist. So yeah, listened to her since I was fourteen. So yeah, yes. so that's she stayed sort of, with me. <laughs> that's the sort of music you grew up listening to, then. Yeah, it was yeah. And were there any bands that you grew up listening to in particular? Um, well, you know what? It wasn't really bands. It was mostly singer, singer-songwriters singer like Joni Mitchell, um, Neil Young. I've yes. listened to a lot. Um, so I think maybe you can hear I'm kind of influenced by them. And Vashti Bunyan I love a lot as well. Okay. Um, yeah, right. so, yeah. What, what about Danish artists then? Yeah, I also listen to them. There's in one guy in particular called uh, Sebastian, right. who's... I, he kind of came out at the same time as Donovan. I think he was a bit inspired by that, but then in Danish, you know. Yes. So yes. listen to a lot to him. So if right. someone wants, you know, to hear some Danish curious music about, uh, curious about the music, then yes. you should listen to Sebastian. <laughs> yes. Well, that's interesting because I guess both countries, the UK and Denmark, have a strong history in folk music. So yeah, yeah. So maybe you've got a mixture. I, I definitely think I do. We had like a lot of when I was growing up. Uh, like Denmark is, is big on you know these, um, uh, you know singing from singing from from the book yes. as I think you got here uh, a lot as well. We do um, big, big collections of folk songs in books. Here, exactly. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So we I done I've done that a lot where I grew up and um, yeah. I think you do here too, right? Like we, kind of oh, in yes. schools and yeah. So it's I mean, just you a can, big thing. You can get books of folk songs, you know, hundreds of folk songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From to learn from here, certainly. Yeah. Yes. I guess that would be the same in Denmark, would it? You could definitely, yeah. Big and it's libraries of Yeah, big library and, and you know, just people getting together and knowing a lot of the same songs. Um, yes. so I think you can hear some of that tone to my music maybe as well. Yes. <laughs> Did you maybe at school sing folk or in music groups growing up sing folk songs at all? It wasn't really f- a folk songs. I think as a, a teenager, you kind of want to go go crazy with other other popular music. Yes. So, um, but I still kept on doing that because we have it as a very strong tradition. Um, we even have something called folk high schools, oh, which right. really doesn't have anything with the what you believe is a high school. It's yeah. more like a all kinds of thing, oh, and you're right. there um, on your at your own free will. Right. So um, okay. there we sing a lot of those songs as well. I'm really into that. Yeah. Yes. 
So it sounds like your up upbringing did have quite an influence in your style of music. I think it did. Like, it's kind of something you think about afterwards because as now, you know, people yeah. ask you about these influences. So yes. it wasn't con a conscious influence, but that's definitely something there, I think. Yes. <laughs> Can't run away from it. Yes. And uh, you shouldn't. <laughs> uh, all right, that's great. Um, Okay, so as well as playing in London, have you played around the UK as well? I have, yeah. On this tour, I've been in some places I've been before. Um, some of my favourites are Cafe Number no. 9 in Sheffield, yes. which has a really nice vibe there. And then I have also a place I come back to in Cardigan in Wales, oh, yes. a small world theatre, which is a beautiful venue. And you know, just the beautiful surroundings. Yes. So, um, yeah, those I've been there on this tour as well. Really yes. lovely places. Okay. Yeah. Now, we were talking to an artist from Australia this week and asking them about the weather, but I guess you'll be pretty used to similar weather to a UK climate already. It's all pretty. Like, I've talked yes. to people back home. It's really similar to this. Um, maybe it get a bit colder in the winter. I'm not sure. But yeah, I, uh, in Denmark. In Denmark, yes. Yeah. Yeah, probably... Not sure, though, but I think we're very similar on, on, yes. on weather. Yeah. yeah, it's perhaps a bit colder and maybe more snow. Than here. Maybe a bit more snow, but, yes. you know, in these <laughs> times, some some changes are happening, so yeah, yes. snow is not, we don't get as much as we used to. No, so, actually maybe Scotland here is similar to Denmark in climate because it's a bit colder there. It might be, yeah, it might uh, be a little bit, yeah, yes. like that. Uh, have you played in Scotland? Or? I have, I've played in um, the largest city. Okay, Glasgow? Or? Glasgow, of oh, course, yes. yeah, let What's me just rephrase oh. that, yeah, I've played in Glasgow, so I really want to go to Scotland more because yes. I, yeah, I, really love the place. kind of wanted to go there when I was a teenager and get away from everything. Okay. Uh, right. But I never did. So, but that's still something that stuck to my head. Uh, about that's interesting. Scotland. Well, there is a very strong folk tradition yeah, yeah, yeah. in Scotland as well. I'm sure you know that. Mm. <laughs> no, I think there's, there's been a resurgence in, in recent years. Increased interest in the genre. Oh. Yeah, I think it, it's, I think it seems like it's kind of, um, you know, it seems like it had some years where people didn't really listen to it or, or yes. they thought it was more like, uh, not to be uh, uh, bad, but it, it was kind of like old people's music. And yes. I think it's kind of got a revival uh, mm. where it, also because it, you kind of mix it with modern things as well. That's right, yes, there's been a few bands who've done that. Yeah, recently. so um, yes. I think that's good for folk music that you kind of, it's got a revival, um, so it's not only, you know, building on old style, but building on top of that with new influences. And, uh, That's right. <gasps> okay, now you've had a new record out recently, is that right? That is right, yeah. Recently, I think it's like a week ago maybe now that yes. it came out. Yeah. I'm really happy about that. Okay. Yeah. And what's the name? It's called The Things We Don't Know Yet. Ah, yeah. yes. And I, I think the... Is that a, there's a track on the record called that? There is. It's the yes. opening track there. Yeah. That's the right. I, I think we played it on our show a few weeks ago. Actually. You did. <laughs> oh, nice. Good yes. to know. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it's the title track. And do you want to tell us a bit about the album and how it came about? Yeah. Sure. I will. Um, well, it's my second uh, solo album, and uh, I kind of was. I'm very fond of these like uh, demos. Um, to make demos and kind of you know record your songs while they're all new and fresh yes. but then I thought to myself like why do you always call these songs demos why don't you use them as main tracks because what yeah. always happens then you go to the studio and then you don't quite get the feeling of the the tracks as yes. you want them so I just started to kind of produce and record myself in like different locations uh, mostly pretty remote places oh, um, nice. but also in Berlin where I lived a couple of years oh, okay. um, and um, so what sort of I, other places was it recorded in then that's interesting yeah 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 it was recorded there in, in Berlin in my small apartment where I lived and uh, in some cottages around in Sweden for example oh, nice. so different um, countries as well <laughs> yeah 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 there's even a song on the album called Vermeland which is an area in Sweden where yes. I um, recorded and, and, and uh, wrote that song. Okay. So I kind of wanted to catch, you know, that, and then I find a great alliance in, in one of my oldest friends, Esme Sven, who kind of then co-produced it and mixed it with me. Okay. And we did, like, the last small recordings that needed recorded. So... I hope that you can kind of, at least I think you can kind of hear how the songs are very honest and yes. you kind of embrace yeah. those um, imperfections that sometimes show up because I'm kind of really into those because they right. they sometimes kind of lead the song on to okay. where they're supposed to be, yes. in my opinion. Do, so, um, do you mean in terms of you'll try not to do too many takes in the studio? You try to yeah, exactly. So, yeah. You kind of 
because I think something unique happens when yes. you're in that moment and you take on whatever happens with your voice and whatever feeling comes in. Okay, so. Yeah, so you, you try to keep the the record close to how it would be in a live performance. Though. Exactly, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay, so you're looking to capture those spontaneous events that might happen in the studio in order to make it an authentic performance. Exactly, you're totally right. Yes. Yeah, that is what I try to do and try to capture that. So. Yes. so I guess in that way it's a bit like jazz music in that it's not the sort of thing that you can then do another take off straight away. You may have got a unique take in that. Exactly, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm really into, into doing it that way. Yes. Because, you know, sometimes, yeah, as I said before, you go into the studio and then you just you feel like you don't capture it yes. and you miss your demos. So yes. <laughs> now these are demos that are not demos, they're real tracks. <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah. I guess you like to keep an organic sound to it. Not, Definitely, not, yeah. Not to be overproduced and. Definitely, yeah. Okay, that makes sense, yes. Um, in terms of the songwriting process, mm -hmm. um, would you say, was that you and a team of songwriters or one of the songwriters? What, what was the process for the songs coming together? On the uh, I've written all the songs on my own. Um, I do sometimes co-write, yeah. but mostly it, it tends to be for, for other projects. Okay, um, nice. So yeah, they've all kind of done myself. Yes. Um, yeah. All right. And, and do you start with the lyrics? How do you go about a, a typical song? How, what would you say? Typically, it's, they kind of work together, to be honest. Right. You know, sometimes I'm, I'm out and about and I collect small, like, lyrical ideas. Okay, right. But the way the song comes it, is I kind of just sit down and it kind of feels like meditation in a way. Yeah. And then you sit with, uh, I sit with my guitar or my piano right. and then it comes together and I just start recording from the beginning on my phone. Okay. And then sometimes words pop up or I try oh, to collect it so it just feels like yes. I know it's kind of, it sounds a bit spiritual but I think it sometimes does feel very spiritual okay, you know yes. and then sometimes yes. com something comes up and you're like okay this is working and then I just get into the songs and try to be more of a you know nerd and an analyst about it okay. so first of all I just try to stay open and have it come in yes well that makes sense so you get ideas down bit by bit and maybe mm piece them together as a whole is yeah, that, would that be? exactly and yes. then I also try to you know leave it sometimes and then get back to it because yes. <laughs> you know songs are different and some of them just come all in one like the things we don't know yet I think I wrote that in 10 minutes okay. oh, and right, so. other songs you know take years to be oh, yes and I guess with yourself being the primary songwriter I, I finished, see yes so, yeah, so you might... it was about sort of personal experiences are, are they about the countryside different things what, what's the, the general uh, I think that the general for me is is to I always kind of have this you know there's a frustration then then you go through that in the song and yes. you kind of have hope towards the end okay, like right. I think most of my songs I kind of build yes. up in that yes. and then the whole like the things we don't know yet is kind of this of missing like a slower pace in life okay. yes. and because in these days as as you might also feel it, everything is going very fast yes. and it feels like everyone has to follow that fast pace to to be be in this world yes. and i think that's a real problem because we get to experience so much more if we try to be in it and and that was why i just felt myself being too quick about things and that's, yeah. so i tried to slow down i think that's also why i kind of went to these kind of remote places and, and kind of tried to get in the process on my own um, to to capture those moments yeah and then you know there's a lot of about um, love it's always a <laughs> good subject Yes. And a lot of people know what that's about. So yes. uh, yeah. Well, I think that's the most written about subject for songs ever. So. Yeah. Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so uh, yeah. All right. And so there's a philosophical element then to your music. Yeah. By the sounds as well. And you know, the hope is always for, for people to like see themselves in that. If, yes. if people can't see themselves in the songs, then the songs doesn't feel like a success. You know. You know. You want people to see themselves in them. Yes. Yes, that makes sense. Yes. And um, in terms of performance you, you play guitar and piano is that right I do yeah mostly yes. the guitar but okay. um, I, I also like to put in the piano right. like tonight I we brought the piano for one song okay. on this whole it's, tour but right. it feels kind of I think it feels kind of important to have yeah. that kind of to me it's like a sobe you know between meals right you want yes. something that's <laughs> different and does yes. something else you change um, the mood in, yeah in the yeah, sure. and it has a bit of like it's kind of I don't know if you, you can hear that, but I was a bit inspired by Daniel Daniel 
Johnston. Okay. Uh, which I think that piano song kind of, you know, breaks it all yes. into pieces so you can collect it all again. Oh, I see, but yes. But we'll see what you think. Yes. Well, I think it's, it's certainly very good at creating a different mood on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Piano yeah, exactly. gives a totally different timbre. To yeah. The, yeah. To the music. So, yes. Okay, that's great. Um, you'll be performing... Alone tonight, is that right? Or? That is right, yeah. Okay. But, but do you ever perform with a band? I do perform with a band. Um, I think it's nice to be able to be flexible and both have yeah. have the solo thing and then the band. Um, you know, it is the same songs, but um, it's nice to, to be able to have those songs and create different moods with them. Yes. And I kind of like both. And in these days where it's, uh, you know, hard with the money and being an artist, uh, yes. it's nice to... <laughs> be able to say yes to all kinds of shows that doesn't necessarily have to pay for a whole band. Yes. So, yeah. Yes, that makes sense. No, it's good yeah. to be able to do, do a mixture of a mixture of shows. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so after tonight's show in the Green Note, do you mm -hmm. have any more shows lined up? Or? There is one left, and that's in Sudbury tomorrow. Uh, in where, sorry? In Sudbury, oh, if Sud I'm saying Sudbury, right. Yes. Sudbury, yes. yes. In the yeah. St. Peter's Church. Okay, yes. Yeah. So, uh, okay, yeah, that's, that's the last one. Might be in, in the county of Suffolk. Yes, that is true. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so, uh, oh, so that'll be the last one. Is this the coming to the end of a tour then that you've been doing? In the yeah, UK? it yes. is. Yeah, yes. I came. What was that? A week ago, I think. Uh, yeah, I came Thursday Just last week. Yes. Yeah. So. So, all right. Well, I think you've had some good weather since you have been here. Been, yeah. Right. It's been sunny. <laughs> yeah. People keep saying I brought the nice weather, but I kind of think. Uh, yes. You brought the nice weather to me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because just before that there was a very cold spell, but then you've yeah, you yeah. had the best of the weather. It's been it's sunny. It's been so beautiful, yeah. Yes. And That's staying nice. in in, uh, in in Cardigan oh, right. in yes. this weather was really nice. Yes. Walking in the in the hills and the. I was going to ask if you, if you got any chance to see the scenery, but it sounds like you I have. Did. I have. It's <laughs> been um, it's been really good. I, I do like to to have a chance to kind of go for walks. Walks are yes. always good for the mind. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how do you find it in London? Because obviously a bigger city than Copenhagen. I mean, do you find it that, <clears throat> you know, you're glad to, to go home? You know, it can be very uh, congested and mm. very, very busy. How, how do you find London itself? It is a fast-moving town uh, or city. Um, but, the, but I think it's always here. It's always possible to find those um, quiet rooms. And there's yeah. also, you know, the life is also, the livelihood of this place is also really interesting. And I yes. do have some really close friends that I like to stay with. Ah, right, so Even, right, so yeah. I don't know if you know Samantha Waits, she's also a singer-songwriter from here. Okay, yes. Who's gonna do some harmonies on a couple of songs tonight. Oh, okay. um, so, so that's really nice. So yes. it's always a good chance to yes. see some people as well. Yes. Go for more walks. <laughs> that's right. Well, of course, we are close to a park here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you always are in London. Yeah, that's good that you're always able to find some green somewhere. Yes. <laughs> Right, that's great. So after this tour, will you be going home for a bit of relaxation in, in Denmark? Or? Um, I wish I were going back to re relaxation. Yes. I am going home, um, and then I think I have one day off, and then it's um, some touring again in, right. in Denmark. There's a festival there oh, um, nice. that I'm doing, so yeah. What's the name of the festival? It's called Spot Festival. Okay. It's kind of a good uh, festival for uh, business connections and stuff like that. Right. So yeah, it's yeah. going to be... Uh, Good and and <laughs> maybe yeah, it's gonna be good. Okay. Uh, it is in I don't know if you know Aarhus. Aarhus is kind of the second yes. largest city there. Yes. So most of it is just all around the city. It is quite nice actually. And then they just kind of included all the venues of the of the city, and so that's where it's all going on. All right, that's great. Well, thanks, Ida, for joining us on Camden Town Radio this evening. Thank you for having me, Harvey. Uh, you're welcome, and we hope you're. It goes very well this evening, and we wish you the best of luck with the new album and also future shows. Thank you so much, Helen. Okay, we're now going to do a part of the show called Favourite Ten. Um, Edith, are you ready for this? All right, I think I am. Yes! <laughs> okay, here we go. Favourite place? Um, Cardigan, Wales. Favourite country? Uh, Faroe Islands. Favourite song? <laughs> um, I'm Walking Barefoot by Paddy Smith. Favourite drink? Aperol Spritz. Favourite food? Gotta go with pizza. <laughs> uh, Favourite holiday destination? Mm, uh, let's say Sweden. Okay. Uh, Favourite tree? Um, oak tree, yeah. Yes. Uh, Favourite flower? Um, I, 
don't know what it's called in, in English. Say it in Danish, that's okay. Flow and Okay. Favorite film? Oh, band is it called that? Device Band? Oh, yes. Yep. Okay. And finally, uh, favorite terrain, countryside or town? Countryside. Okay, great. Thanks, Ida. You managed to answer all of those in just less than one minute. Whew, ha, now I can stress off. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, the gig will seem easy now. Too. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, this is Ida Wiener on Camden Town Radio. I hope to see you out there at a show sometime. Bye bye. Hej alle sammen, det her er Ida Venø på Camden Town Radio. Jeg håber, at vi ses derude. Hej hej! It's nothing.